The message scroll feature allows you to send any MIDI messages you want in sequence each time you press a switch on your Morningstar controller. You can cycle through up to 16 different messages with just one switch. These messages can be any messages of your choice. This is a really useful feature to have because you can scroll through messages without being confined to fixed increments or intervals. For example, you can scroll through any PC numbers of your choice. Here I am cycling through 5 of my favourite HX Stomp presets by sending a different PC number each time I press the switch. And these PC numbers are not in running order. The switch's name also gets updated each time I press it so I can easily tell which preset is currently active from the numbers shown on the display. And when I get to the last of the 5 presets, hitting the switch will cycle back to the first preset again. And on this other switch, I can cycle through 3 different gain levels for the overdrive effect block on all of the 5 presets shown earlier. I'm also able to see if I'm at low, medium, or high gain levels via the changing number on the switch name. Let's see how easy it is to set up right now. The first thing you need to do when setting up a switch to scroll through messages is enable message scroll. This is simply done by setting message scroll to on. Do note that if it is not your intention to use this feature, it should be left off or it will cause unwanted behavior within your preset. Next, you just need to choose the messages you want to scroll through and set each of them to be triggered by a release action. A message will only be part of the scroll sequence if it has a release action assigned to it. For this HX Storm preset example, I have selected 5 different PC messages, 7, 8, 11, 14, and 23, and assigned release actions to all of them. I've named this switch Fave Preset, followed by Percentage G. Percentage G is a placeholder and will be replaced by a number to show you which message you're currently at in the scroll sequence. The first time I press the switch, it sends out message 1, then with each subsequent press, the controller sends out the next message and the number shown on the switch name increases accordingly. And when we get to the last message in the sequence, we will loop back and send the first message again when the switch is pressed. You can scroll through up to 16 different messages if you want, as you have 16 different messages available per preset. Moving on to how we can use the message scroll feature with CC messages to control effect parameters. As shown earlier, this switch allows me to step through three different overdrive gain levels. And as you can see on the editor screen here, it's a really simple setup. Again, make sure you have message scroll enabled. And here I just have three CC messages, all with the same CC number 11, but each with different values. And all of them also have release actions assigned to them. I've mapped CC number 11 to the gain parameter on each of the overdrive blocks in each of my 5HX Stomp presets. So these three messages will work for all of them. And you can use the virtual fader to tweak the gain levels to your taste. As I move the virtual fader in the editor, the HX Stomp's overdrive gain level moves as well. By using this, I arrived at CC values 35, 80, and 127 to my taste for each of these CC messages. We'll have a whole separate video showing you how to use the virtual faders coming up soon. Do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. And for the switch name, I've just named it Gain, followed by percentage G again. So as I press the switch, I can see which gain level I'm at as I cycle through each of the gain levels. It's that simple. You can also use the message scroll feature to cycle through different reverb mix, delay feedback, and delay mix levels like I have set up here. <laughs> You can also scroll through different clipping diode, gain cycle, and boost EQ modes on Jackson audio pedals like the Golden Boy and Broken Arrow which requires different CC values to activate each mode. As with many of the features on Morningstar controllers, the ways in which you can take advantage of this feature is limited only by your creativity. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it useful. Remember to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like us to know. It'd be greatly appreciated and I'll catch you again in the next one. Peace.